Good evening, everyone. Tonight, I want to talk to you about the application of Claude Code to solving problems that you're interested in. If you're not familiar with Claude Code, it is a coding agent from the company Anthropic, and it is something that you use in the terminal. You just call Claude, and I'll show you here. It just pulls up, and then you can basically use this large language model in the terminal. And what I also did was I uh, looked at this paper. So for those of you who don't know me, I have a brother, Chad, who is a nonverbal autistic individual. So he does not know how to talk. He requires 24-7 support. And so I've been interested in technology and its ability to help people who have uh, developmental disabilities. Now, this paper kind of stood out to me because it talks about using AI, specifically computer vision and large language models to help support uh, communication for uh, autistic children. And this paper is fairly short and it talks about the uh, application description of this sort of LLM based chatbot that helps a individual with autism, typically a child, to sort of help understand someone's emotions uh, based on their facial expressions using computer vision. And this is happening through like a video call type of interface, for example, on Zoom. So I was really interested in this paper and I got the idea that, you know, it does talk about what it does and what goes into making this model. So what if I just dumped this paper basically into Claude Code where I effectively just made a directory with this paper. I told Claude Code to go in this directory, read the paper and basically make a working prototype of this application to build this software that can help uh, children with autism try and understand uh, emotions better and build their you know, social uh, skills, understanding social cues and whatnot. After about, I'd say like two-ish hours of just using Claude code and just kind of asking it to, to work through this problem and debugging it and always getting these errors and just having it you know, restart and say, hey, you know, this thing isn't working, can you please go back and fix it? We were actually able to build something that sounds very similar to what is in the actual paper. So I'll show you kind of what it looks like here. So it's this application. And if you start a session, it should start going. Okay, so you can, you can see my video there. And I believe that it should start transcribing the conversation. I'm not so sure if it's, oh, there it is now. And the idea is that I believe it's using this vision model to look at my face and gauge what my uh, emotion is every, I think, 10 seconds or so. And a user can hit the suggest response button to have a possible response. So this can help people with autism who, who might be having a hard time coming up with something to say in this, in this kind of uh, situation here. So if I hit suggest response, it might just come up with something kind of generic because it says neutral right now. That sounds interesting. How does it work? Uh, well, you know, this is using AI, both from a vision and a language uh, perspective to uh, help someone with autism understand social cues and emotions better. So it's just response. So essentially the person who um, has autism uh, would be given this response. Now, obviously this is very, very uh, rough and it's not uh, perfected in any way, but I just wanted to just kind of share with you just how cool this was uh, to just sort of go from reading this paper and being like, that's a really cool application. I'd like to see what that would actually look like because this paper, I don't believe shares any kind of like GitHub or shares any materials as to the source code, basically what I'm saying. So the fact that we could just build this application uh, with Claude code uh, based on this paper description, I thought was pretty cool. So I'm going to try and make a, I don't know, uh, a sad face seem a little bit down. I'm not feeling the best right now, honestly. Yeah, you know, I mean, I think it's it's unfortunate that we have suffering in this world, basically. I, I wish that we didn't have suffering. Yeah, it's a tough life sometimes, but you know, we do what we can. So yeah, I appreciate your uh, your understanding and talking to me. So that's basically the application. I just wanted to share with you uh, my experience with it. And I would just highly recommend if you're curious, 
about building stuff with AI, try Claude code. It's, it's really awesome. And uh, I think it's amazing that we live in this time where you can basically just take a paper description of something and just text and feed it into a model like Claude code. And you get something that recreates what's in the paper. Who knows what that could possibly unlock moving forward, especially as these models get more powerful. But I just wanted to share with you my experience. And so I hope you found this video to be somewhat useful, somewhat entertaining. And I hope you feel encouraged to try and build stuff uh, yourself. So with that, I'll see you next time.